The Reloaded Podcast is a fictional podcast using real-life subjects. It will be offensive to overly sensitive, safe place individuals. If you are easily offended, don't listen. You've been warned. How was your 4th of July, John? Can't remember it. So pretty good, huh? Yep. We have some good content today. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get fucking yelled at for this being a racist episode. First, there's a certain former quarterback turned Black Panther type activist. He was in the news. Well, yeah. Must have been sitting without attention long enough, huh? Well, if you're going for attention, good or bad, you may not want to sound like the ignorant dumb jock you are. Foot and mouth disease is what I call it. That's pretty good there, John. You're welcome. So Nike puts out this Betsy Ross flag sneaker or shoe. Mr. Bench Boy. Colin. No, no. I refuse to give his name any attention. It's bad enough I'm giving him this much, but it's too funny to pass up. Okay. He wanted Nike to pull the shoe because the flag, or that flag anyway, now represents slavery. Well, there still was slavery, to be fair and all. Yes, you're right. But I remember the whole getting on his knees because he wanted balls in his mouth or something like that. Well, well, it's a little much, but yes. It's my version anyway. According to that prick, it was never about the flag. But Bench Boy, like you said, hasn't had a spotlight for a while. So now it's about the original flag. About Betsy Ross's version of the flag. Betsy Ross was a Quaker. Quakers were abolitionists. Abolitionists helped stop slavery in England. So what you're saying is Bench Boy extraordinaire is a dumb shit jock. Read a little bit, asshat. No wonder he got benched. He probably only looked at the part of the playbook that he thought was fucking racist. Or at least after he got benched, everything was racist. I don't think it has anything to do with race. He's just a fucking moron, Tom. And since this is an episode where we will be deemed racist for having a fucking opinion... Uh-oh. I want to preface this by saying, even though she was my number two on my cartoon fetish list... Go over and watch Boston Brew Toon Fetish, people. Good job. This whole Little Mermaid thing is fucking stupid. While I prefer my sexual fantasies with my own kind... Oh my goodness, Tom, because she's white? No, because she's a cartoon, you racist fuck. Oh, oh yeah. I still like live people, though. It's okay. I'm a traditional sort of guy. If the cartoon was this sexy, white, red-headed fish, then the live action should follow suit. But do I care it'll be a little black girl? No. No, I don't. I personally don't give a fuck if they found a black, Korean, transgender, fish boy with lesbian tendencies. Pretty sure you covered the Safe for Disney Diversity Committee list there, Tom. Well, the whole uproar about this was just my explanation. I don't give a fuck about the uproar. You can call it racist, you can be upset, you can be happy, I don't give a fuck. The reason I brought this up is because the wonderful, wonderful thing called the internet and these memes. Remakes galore. And if you're listening on just the audio version, you may want to check out our page on YouTube. Nice. Just search Reloaded Boston Brood. I'm going to put these uh, things I'm describing up there. So the first one has both Ariel, the original mermaid, getting blasted with water on a rock, and also the black version. Same exact picture. Not bad, John, but I still prefer batshit crazy redheads. Who doesn't? To the side of the original Ariel is your basic font cube, like on any computer. That says Ariel. To the side of the black Ariel, well, black Ariel. Get it? (laughs) Next meme is the new girl who'll be Ariel. I don't even know her name. Got me. Then we have a bald woman in the remake of Rapunzel. An albino in the remake of Pocahontas. A very large, sweaty, shirtless black man in Mulan. And a dog stars in the live-action version of Ratatouille. Ah, I like that one. It's fucked up. Of course, we can't do remakes without a Tarantino version starring Samuel L. Jackson. The poster art is classic as Sam is rising triumphantly through the water with the tagline, What, you never seen a black merman, motherfucker? To be honest, if there's excessive violence, I may watch that one. (laughs) Yeah, right. The next one goes after the people who are calling anyone with an opinion racist. This grouping of movie posters is what I'd call, well, 
how you're going to react to these reboots. This one is Empire. Next season on Empire. It's your whole fucking white family in the Hamptons or something. <laughs> Still not interested in that show, but funny. How about Jim Carrey and Mr. Bean in Friday? <clears throat> yes. Smoking weed and probably running away from your mountain guy from uh, Game of Thrones. That'd be pretty fucking badass. <laughs> How about Black Panther 2 starring the dude from that uh, Moonlander movie? Tom Hanks? No, the one that they actually landed. Oh, First Man. Ryan Gosling or something like that. Yes. He'd make a great Black Panther. How about also starring him, The Life and Times of Martin Luther King? That one's going to go up a lot of people's asses. Oh, yeah, that might piss them off a little. But the most epic film reboot of our generation is Roots, starring Owen Wilson. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, that would be great, especially a buddy movie with either uh, Jackie Chan or Vince Vaughn involved. Oh, yeah, that would be magnificent. This next one is a little hard to describe, but it's a bunch of redheads replaced with black actresses or black actors. We got Mary Jane and Peter Parker from Spider-Man, replaced with their black counterparts. Annie, of course. The Little Mermaid. And then this red guy, redhead from uh, South Park there, saying, took her jobs. This is one I'd like to call Ginger Snaps. <laughs> May I suggest the African Americans out there stop taking jobs from redheads. You know they can steal your fucking soul, right? Okay, I got one more for today. I'm going to finish this off with this one right here. The Little Mermaid reboots are officially out of control. We got two guys sitting by the pool I can only describe as village people. One sailor and the other in a mermaid outfit. It does look fucking ridiculous if you're not seeing this. You got to look it up. Yep. This is some sort of grand finale if I ever saw one. It didn't even really get controversial in this uh, episode, Tom wasn't overly racist. I could say about the Little Mermaid being a little black girl is what the fuck is Disney thinking? Don't they know the majority of black people don't Holy swim? Holy shit. Okay, that's what? it. See you next time. If there is a next time, you racist fucker. Racial, John. Racial. Not racist. It's a fucking joke. People gotta get over themselves. Hey, if you like what you just heard, please subscribe to Reloaded, the Boston Brood Podcast. And go ahead and share that thing. Spread it around like herpes. <laughs>